God is true unto us. Praise the name of Jesus Christ. We are to believe the, tro- the promises of God. Doubtless that God who promise he is a faithful God. Equally also, God is expecting us to be true unto his word. With him. Say, I believe the word of God. And then thereafter, I act according to the word of God. Number, the book of Number, chapter 30, verse number 2. Numbers, chapter 30, verse 2. Number, chapter number 30, verse 2. If a man vow a vow unto the Lord, or swear an oath to bind his soul with a bond, he shall not break his word, he shall do according to all that proceedeth out of his mouth. Hallelujah. How many of us, when we were in trouble, there was no job, we were not working, when we were single, we were not married. When we did not have children, how many of us promised God, if you will give me the job, I will save you for the rest of my life. When we were single, if God can give me a husband, if you can give me a wife, I will be faithful to you until I will die. How many of us we promise God, if God can give me a child, I will take my child unto you. I will teach my child the way of the Lord. And after time, we have not done so. The Bible says, God wants us to fulfill the promise that we have vowed unto him. Any promise, many people, even when it comes to promotion... We go to God and we cry unto God, if you can just promote me, I will defend you. I will be for you. I will indeed show that God is a really God. Are we really like Daniel? Are we really like Shadrach, Meshach, and Abnego? That in the midst of their death threat, they say, we cannot deny God. Coronavirus is now here. Those who said, I will never depart from the church. Today, they are the one that cannot go even to church. They are still in the lockdown. Even the lockdown have been lifted up. They say, no, no, no. Coronavirus in town, I cannot go in town. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want to read again verse number 2 of number chapter 30. And it reads as follows. If a man vow a vow unto the Lord, or swear an oath to bind his soul with a bond, he shall not break his word. He shall do according to all that proceeded out of his mouth. In other words, our commitment to serve God must continue until the day when we depart from this world. The promise that we promise God unto our wives, unto our husband, the promise that we promise God concerning give me the job, I will indeed be faithful to you. Let us stick unto those words. Some of the challenges that come our way is the breaking of the vow or the promises that we have given unto God. As time goes on, if the time could have allowed us, I could have shown you the mother of prophet Samuel, how she promised God in her anguish and affliction because she was a barren woman. And people were laughing at her, most especially her rival Penina was laughing at her and she cried unto God, if you can remember me and give me a male child, sure, I will render this child back unto you for the rest of his life. He will not be with me, but he will be in the house of the living God. She fulfilled that promise. Many of us, we give the promise, but we cannot stick unto our promise. May God deliver us in the name of Jesus Christ. May God have mercy upon us in the name of Jesus Christ. Deuteronomy chapter 23 verse 21. Deuteronomy chapter 23 verse 21. And thou shalt vow a vow unto the Lord thy God. Thou shalt not select to pay it. For the Lord thy God will surely require it of thee. And will be seen in thee. That which is gone out of thy lips, thou shalt keep and perform, according as thou hast vowed unto the Lord thy God, which thou hast promised with thy mouth. Hallelujah. We have promised God with our 
mouth. The word that came out of us have become a promise. Therefore, whether there is corona, no corona, let us save God. I have decided, is the song that we normally sing. Many in Christian world, they sing, I have decided to follow Jesus. I have decided to follow Jesus. I have decided to follow Jesus. No turning back, no turning back. Are you sure really on your decision? May you stick unto your decision until the day when Christ will come. Hallelujah. The word is very clear. When you give a promise, stick unto your promise. Hallelujah. Many of us today, God have made it in that way that when you speak a word and you agree with that word, you need to live by that promise that you have promised until death do come. And that is what God is expecting from us. During this time, we need to seek God the more. During this time, we need to fellowship with God by fellowshipping with God in His Word. We need to have also communion with the Holy Spirit in our prayer. It is very, very much important. Ecclesiastes chapter number 5, verse 4 and 5. I want now to come to an end so that we can able to let you go home. Ecclesiastes chapter number 5, verse 4 and 5. When thou vows a vow to God, differ not to pay it, for he had pledged fools. Pay that which thou hast vowed. Better it is that thou shouldest not vow than that thou shouldst vow and not pay. Praise the name of Jesus Christ. Don't change your mind after you have promised God. Don't change your mind after you have promised your wife of your youth. Your husband of your youth. After you have given a promise, stick to that promise until death do you part as married couple. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Many of you, you trust your friend and you give a promise to your friend. But when calamity comes, you change your mind. You jump out of the situation. The Bible is saying, it is better not to vow than to vow and you cannot pay what you promise. It is a danger before God. God wants us to live by the promises. To be people of integrity. People of our own words. When you speak your word, let your word come to pass. Praise the name of Jesus Christ. When you have spoken your word, come good time, bad time. Whether you are in a deep water or shallow water, whether you are in fire or you are not in fire, remain steadfast unto your word. Praise the name of Jesus Christ. God has promised, as long as there is still a day and night, winter, Summer and all the season will always remain. He has promised and is still sticking unto his word. And God is expecting us to be people of their own words. This is the time that we need really to make Jesus our savior. Jesus our master. By being in our Bible. Study the mind of God by studying the word of God. Know him better by having a fellowship in the word of God. Our fellowship is with the Father and the Son. As we indulge ourselves in the word of God, then we will be able to know the mind of God. Jesus said, if you love me, you will love my word. And you will obey my commandment. I and my Father, we are one. If you love me, my Father will manifest himself unto you. It is the promise of God and it shall not be broken. During this time when many people they are looking up to solution anywhere. This time around I can tell you everybody can become a doctor to you if you are not careful. Hallelujah. Everybody can become a doctor to you. Anything that they will tell you you want to try and try it. But there is where you need to lean unto God. Praise the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. The Lord said in his word, I sent my word 
and delivered them from destruction and from their iniquity and I healed them. In other words, the word of God is the healing medicine for us. Doctor, do treat, but God heals us. Praise the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Stick unto the promises of God. As time goes on, we need to pray that we need to receive more rain. And I'm happy when you look at television, our people, they are beginning to work harder to get also vegetables. Even in the dry area, like on the south, you can see they are putting up also vegetables. It is the beginning that we need to work for ourselves, not to depend upon other people. The people of Israel, they were working for Egyptians, and the Egyptians, they were just sitting because they have slaves. But the economy changed when they left. They became difficult because most of their cattle have died. Many trouble they have passed by. Let us learn and let us be innovative during this time. That we must not only think in the box, but we need to go beyond what can we do in order for us to sustain our home. I was watching another uh, last week. Uh, on the television in South Africa, farmers in South Africa, they are appealing to the government, they are appealing to the provincial government to bring them food parcels to take them to the farms because it is dry. Their animal is dying, no food at all. Themselves, they don't have any food. When a farmer begins to ask for food, an ordinary person will not survive the situation. Are you with me? Let us work. Let us trust God. And we come to God based on his promises. And we will bring the promises of God back unto him. And see what God will do unto us. Hallelujah. And I can assure you God will never fail you. He will never let you down in the name of Jesus Christ. During this time is a time that you can make God indeed your best friend. A closer friend than never before. And then he will be able to sustain you in the name of Jesus Christ. I want again to read that Ecclesiastes chapter 5 verse 4 and 5. When thou vowest a vow unto God, not to pay it, for he had not pleasure in the fools. Those who does not Fulfill their promise. They are fools. As far as God is concerned. Don't, angry, don't become angry with me. I did not write this. It is King Solomon. Wait. If you reach heaven. One day you are going to ask Solomon. Why did you write like that to call us fool? If we don't fulfill our promise. You ask Solomon there. And Solomon will refer you to the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit will answer you properly. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Pay that which thou hast vowed. It is better is it that thou should not vow than thou shouldest vow and not pay. Praise the name of Jesus Christ. The promise that you promise God that you will fast. The promise that you promise God that you will read the word of God. The promise that you promise God that you will always pray. The promise that you promise God that you will give unto the poor. Are you doing it or not? Hallelujah. The promise that you told God, I will not forsake the assembly of the believer. Are you doing it or not? The promise that you promise that I will stick as long as I live unto God Almighty. And I will honor his word. Are you honoring the word of God or not? Shall we stand on our feet now? Let us stand on our feet.